Would you believe me if I told you this chili has nearly two pounds of hidden vegetables inside? Because it totally does. It also requires zero knife work. It uses frozen vegetables and a blender or food processor to make a hidden veggie sauce that you'll never know is there. Your picky eaters will never know it's there. I'll also show you how to make some baked tortilla chips and three recipes to use your leftovers like chili cheese burritos, high protein chili cheese mac and cheese, and stuffed chili cheese baked potatoes. First, let's take a look at the hidden vegetable sauce. If you watched my most recent video with high protein soup and chili, there's a lot of vegetable chopping and prep that goes into those. To me, I think it's pretty easy, but I've seen enough of those memes that are like, nothing worse than seeing a recipe called easy, and then step one is dice an onion. Totally get it. I know you wanna keep prep to a minimum. Also, I have a super picky eater in my house, so as many vegetables as we can make, indistinguishable all the better so this recipe foregoes any vegetable chopping and uses frozen vegetables we have onion pepper carrots spinach and garlic and a little bit of chicken bone broth everything goes into a blender if you're using a food processor or a smaller blender like a nutribullet you'll probably need to do this in batches but everything goes in together and just blend this until smooth you can set it aside it's going to go into the chili near the end For the more traditional chili ingredients, we're gonna use two pounds of extra lean, 99% ground turkey. I know that's too lean, and normally I would say leave this on the shelf, but in chili and soup, I think extra lean proteins work really well. So you're just gonna brown this in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Give it four or five minutes on one side to get some nice browning, and then just break that apart and fully cook it. Once your turkey is fully cooked, you're gonna add two packets of chili seasoning. You're just gonna see the one going in here. Trust me, you're gonna need two. And then you're gonna deglaze with a 12 ounce count of beer. This is a non-alcoholic beer from Athletic Brewing. There's lots of non-alcoholic beers out there. You can use a regular beer and cook this off. This cooks for four to five minutes until very little liquid remains. You can also just use extra chicken broth, even water. You just want to kind of reduce that down before you add two cans of chili beans. This is mixed kidney and pinto beans in a chili sauce. If you can't find chili beans, just use pinto and kidney beans, you'll be totally fine. Then add a 28 ounce can of fire roasted crushed tomatoes. Can't find fire roasted, regular crushed tomatoes works perfectly fine, even diced tomatoes. And then you're gonna add your veggie sauce. And by the way, if you have an ultra picky eater who doesn't even like crushed tomatoes, add the tomatoes to your veggie mixture and then they'll be completely pureed. You'll never know they're there. So you're gonna add a couple bay leaves, bring this up to a simmer, cover, let this go for about two hours, really the longer the better. To finish this, I usually like to add something like balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar to my chilies. Being a Tex-Mex chili here, I'm using a bit of vinegar forward hot sauce. Two to three tablespoons should do it, and then salt and pepper to taste, and then you're ready to serve. Now let's talk about all the goodies that go with this, like baked tortilla chips. While there are some lower calorie chips out there and things like Tostitos baked scoops, it's really hard to replace a corn tortilla chip. So one way to accomplish this is taking some extra thin corn tortillas from Mission, cut them into fourths, so you have these triangles, spray with a bit of avocado oil spray or brush on a little olive oil, sprinkle with salt, just throw these into a 400 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. They will start to turn golden, but they'll continue to crisp up once they're out of the oven. So you don't want to let these go too long. And once they're finished, I like to squeeze over a bit of lime juice. Don't worry, it doesn't make them soggy as long as you don't really go crazy with it. And, but the lime juice is totally optional. These will, after a, maybe a minute or two, get really crispy. They should snap right in half and they're perfect for serving with chili. Now let's talk about some things you can do with leftovers. First up, chili mac and cheese. I'm using a boxed high protein mac and cheese. This is a private selection from Kroger. Bonza also makes one of these now. If you wanted to make your own cheese sauce, check out the cottage cheese sauce in my protein mac and cheese cook off. But I think this kind of works fine for just a small little serves two or three people maybe. I just cooked the mac and cheese fold in some reheated leftover chili, throw it in a little mini Dutch oven and top with some cheese onto a sheet pan into a 450 degree oven for about 10 minutes. 
till you get that nice golden brown top and then let it sit for maybe five minutes before you serve. And I mean, this stuff is too good for how simple it is, if we're being honest, and a really cool way to repurpose that leftover chili. Next up, we have what might be my favorite way to repurpose leftover chili, and that's stuffed baked potatoes, chili stuffed spuds. That's a classic. I'm using an air fryer here. I just coat potatoes in avocado oil spray. You can also brush with olive oil, salt them a little bit because I like to eat the skin. And best practice is to poke these with a fork to vent some of the steam. I don't always follow the rules. I've never had one explode, but you didn't hear that from me. I air fry these in about 350 to 375 for 35 to 45 minutes. Hit that 205 to 215 internal temperature range, and they should be perfectly cooked, nice and soft. Let them cool off a little bit, slice them open, add some chili, shredded cheese, back in the air fryer for a couple of minutes, and then garnish with some fresh herbs or hot sauce, whatever you want, you can't go wrong here. Last but not least, we have chili cheese stuffed burritos. I'm using the counter protein tortillas. The mission car balance tortillas from my Costco shopping guide would also be great. This cilantro and lime rice you see here was also in the Costco guide that may look familiar if you've watched that video. So we have the rice, leftover chili, shredded cheese. You could add some pico salsa, pickled jalapeno peppers, whatever you want. You won't see me roll that because I brought shame to my family, did a horrible job, but I think I redeemed it with the grill action. That is a golden brown toasty burrito. I mean, need I say more? This is a great way to use leftover chili. And I think that's everything you need to know about hidden veggie turkey chili. I'll put a link to print the recipe down in the description below. And I've mentioned several times my previous video with four more high protein soup and chili recipes. You should totally check that out next. It is sweater weather, peak soup season. See you next time.